EMCO was the first one to come up with a gearbox, the Daytona prototype. We prefer to use American-built products if we could. And uh, the products in the past have proven to be reliable and dependable, and they certainly are in this, this application, too. We interface very well with the engineering staff. They're very receptive to our requirements. Uh, if we do have an issue, they're on it right away. They're able to, to, to take care of the problem right away. So uh, that's why we use them. We've got tens of thousands of miles on these gearboxes with no issues at all. And uh, the drivers that drive the box just really love it. It's just fast. We have no problems with them at all. The design for this gearbox was a clean sheet of paper. Grand Am gave us specifications and rules that they wanted to have. Uh, they were very, very confining. Uh, we built exactly to their specifications. We built a very robust gearbox, especially for endurance racing, and that's what this series is built around. Emco Gear has a, has a one-of-a-kind transmission dyno that we've custom designed and built for ourselves uh, at our Indianapolis, Indiana technical facility, and we can run 24 hour a day non-destructive non testing on this transmission. Uh, it has, it's ran by a 455 cubic inch big block Chevrolet, uh, so we have plenty of torque available to run through the gearbox, and it has twin water brake dynos on it, one for each axle, so we can independently load the axles and also do differential testing and development. They are really durable and they last a long time, and the service life is uh, way up there. The first test that we went to after we had verified the gearbox for the series was a 28-hour non-stop test at the Daytona Motor Speedway where we ran eight different drivers for 28 straight hours and all we changed was tires, drivers, and added fuel. Well, we've been running the Emco gearbox since day one in this car, since uh, we first rolled it out before, uh, geez, it was like October of 2002, and you know, as it still goes today, we've never had an issue with it. Here is a, an exceptional challenge for the gearbox, because it's, uh, like I said before, it's a very low top speed, so there's a lot of shifting involved. We're trying to maximize what we get out of the Porsche engine, and uh, because you do a lot of shifting, it should be hard on the gearbox, but uh, it shifts real seamless. It's just, we're just kind of yank, keep yanking on the shift lever, and it keeps shifting. So, um, you know, we never never have a complaint. Really, it's it's you know, as I think I said before, it's invisible. It's it's never an issue. It's not something we ever have to address. A great transmission is one you never have to think about. It doesn't give you any problems. Doesn't break. You're not always asking what's going on. No, as far as you know, basically electronic factors of what gauges how well it engages. So it's just kind of one of those deals where, you know, you're always very happy. I mean, I've been very happy at the transmission support. It's been a great, great product. We've had no transmission failures. But the transmission of MCO Bills has uh, been incredible. We've never had a failure yet for years of racing with it. So I don't think we'll have one this weekend either.